All right, guys, so we got to talk about Gavin Newsom and the Democrats out in California, because what do you do when there is an inflation crisis? OK, when the value of the dollar is basically becoming worthless. Uh, well, Democrats, because they don't know anything other than spend money, uh, they decide to spend more money as a way to continue to buy votes, despite the fact that they're doing a terrible job of running the country and are literally destroying the economy again uh democrats their answer to solutions is not to put the fire out right it is actually to pour more fuel on the fire and hope and pray that uh the fire doesn't burn more people okay however uh again you know because democrats think that the people that they appeal to are not very smart uh they believe that this is a a, a good strategy okay uh and what gavin newsom is proposing here is literally buying the black vote right because he is proposing a reparations plan or supporting a reparations plan that would pay black Cal californians who have been descendants of slaves and also face housing discrimination uh he's gonna pay them or he wants to pay them over two hundred thousand dollars in reparations i want you guys to actually listen to Jesse Waters discuss Gavin Newsom's plan. Take a look. Gavin Newsom's licking his chops. He may have run California into the ground, but he's young, he's got good hair, and is related to Nancy Pelosi. What more could you want? A state filled with crime, illegals, and rampant homelessness is a good track record as far as Democrats are concerned. But Newsom's kicking it up a notch. He wants to launch the most expensive reparations plan in American history. Over a half a trillion dollars, a quarter million dollars for any black person whose ancestor faced housing discrimination. How do you know if you faced housing discrimination? Well, that's determined by Newsom's reparations task force. To be eligible for cash, you have to be the descendant of any black person born in America before 1900. When someone says reparations, you're probably thinking that cash should go to the families of enslaved black Americans. Wrong. Providing reparations only for those who can prove their descendancy from enslaved Africans is yet another win for white supremacy, as it dismisses and devalues the harms done to African descendants, not enslaved. Okay, so that's a lot of people. And it's not just money for housing discrimination. Newsom's reparation task force wants to hand out more cash for what they call mass incarceration, unjust property seizures, devaluation of black businesses, and access to health care. It sounds like this is going to end up costing more than Build Back Better. Just the wee bit. This isn't just free money. It's a fortune. A quarter million dollar handout per person. Now, I'm willing to listen to people who believe black Americans are owed something from a country that enslaved their ancestors. I'm not sure I agree with it, but I'm willing to listen. And maybe I can be convinced. Yeah, so this is not just reparations for slavery, okay? It is reparations for a very specific reason, which is housing discrimination, okay? And these are the eligibility requirements, okay? It, it, it is, uh, you have to be a descendant of a slave, okay? Uh, or you have to be descendant of a free black person who lived in the country prior to the 19th century. And they're saying that they got the 200 some thousand dollar number per person uh, as a result of the housing wealth gap, which they say black Californians allegedly experienced uh, discriminatory policies that were in place uh, between 1933 and 1977. OK, and the estimated cost per black person of those policies was five thousand seven hundred fifty four dollars per year. Now, it is estimated that nearly 7% of Californians are expected to qualify for this and is going to cost a, a maximum, approximately $569 billion statewide. Okay, so half a trillion. Um, I, I don't know where they're going to get that money from, right? Where are you possibly going to get that money from? Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure or I, you would think that the, the free COVID money has ran out, okay? You know, the states, they had got so much money from, you know, the COVID money that the federal government spent that these states started giving out stimulus checks, right? California being one of them. I feel like some of that money has, has hopefully dried up by now, right? 
uh, which goes to show you how inefficient and bad of, of a policy uh, the COVID relief packages actually really were. It, it wasn't efficient at all. They were just giving these states money for nothing, and they didn't even know what to do with it. Again, they just resorted to handing out stimulus checks. But California only has a budget of half a trillion dollars a year, right? So this plan literally, literally uh, would be just as costly as all of the revenue that California receives in one year. So again, how are you going to pay for this? It doesn't make any economic sense, which is why this is not going to happen, right? This is what Democrats do. They they do this thing where they do very slow incrementalism. It's like a, a, a tease, right? It's a D tease, right? A D tease is what the Democrats are doing here with, with black folks. They pass these um, commissions, right? They create these commissions to study reparations. And then these commissions come up with this big number. Oh, black people owe $200,000. Wow. Right? And then black people's ears perk up and they say 200000 Right? And the Democrats tell you, yeah, we working towards that. We're going to get you that. Without anybody actually sitting there and thinking about the basic math behind something like this. <laughs> right? Again, this plan costs just as much as California's entire budget. Where are you going to get the money? to send out these checks it's not gonna happen they, they, again this is how democrats play black folks man again there, there's a lot of people out here you know and again i don't blame them but they're out here selling this idea that you know somehow some way we're gonna fight and we're gonna get reparations and i'm not saying it won't happen in some local jurisdictions or who knows maybe even at a state level right a state that ain't got a whole lot of black people put it that way right uh who knows maybe but you're not going to get it from the federal government. It's never going to happen. And the people that are fighting for it, I mean, you're wasting your time. The policy in and of itself is one, too expensive. And two, it's too divisive. And three, it's not going to help. Okay. Because the whole purpose of giving out these $200,000 checks is to help close the so called wealth gap. Okay. Well, we say, well, black people were discriminated against. When it came to housing, right, the federal government was uh, buying uh, black people's houses for less than what they paid for and kicking black people out of their homes, forcing them to move. Right. This is what they say. Um, and because of that, that explains the reason why black people don't have as much net worth or wealth as whites. That explains the, the wealth gap. And even if you go with that hypothesis, if you believe that it is true. If you give somebody $200,000 who doesn't know anything about building wealth, um, they're not going to build any wealth, right? Income and wealth are two different things, okay? There's a lot of people who make a lot of money, have a large income, whose net worth or wealth is not all that much because they spend more than they earn, right? Uh, a vast majority of the black residents... Uh, you know, in California who have a significant difference in the wealth gap between the average white person, they probably have that not just because of alleged discrimination, but because they don't have the proper money habits or financial literacy in order to build wealth over time anyways. Which means that again, if, if you give them $200,000, they're not going to take that money and invest it, right? They're not going to start a business, <laughs> right? They're not going to do anything to make the money actually grow and to preserve the wealth. I mean, can you even buy a house in California for $200,000? You might be able to buy a hut, okay? <laughs> right? But I'm just saying, uh, most people, 99% of them are going to literally get the money back in some sh way, shape, or form. Best believe inflation is going to go more through the roof. Because again, they're not going to save it. They're not going to put it in the bank, <laughs> right? They're going to be spending it on all types of crazy stuff. And I'm not saying all of them will, right? But a majority of them probably will. You know, there'll be some people that take the money, they'll do the right thing and it'll change their lives and, you know, they'll get to the next level, a level that they otherwise would not have been to get to without it. Of course, that'll happen. But that's going to be for a very, very, very small minority. Because people who generally are poor, right? Uh, they're not poor because they've been discriminated against. They're poor because they have bad money and financial habits that's why they're poor okay is either that or they have not tried to accumulate skills or skills that are going to be make them a decent amount of money to build wealth 
It's really that simple. But again, I don't think this is going to pass. However, again, if, if it did pass, right, if I'm white, if I'm anybody in California, I am going to, uh, what is it, Ancestry.com, and I'm trying to figure out if there's any drop of Negro blood in me, okay? I'm claiming I was a descendant of a slave, right? I'm claiming it. I identify as black, and if you tell me any different, you're racist, right? $200,000 check, boy, oh boy, oh boy, best believe. The administration costs on that are going to be insane because there are going to be a whole lot of people lined up with their hands out saying, hey, can I get a check? Which, again, if you pass this and you do this, where does it stop? Where does the handout stop? Because it sounds to me like Gavin Newsom is trying to give out checks for everything, right? He's trying to give out checks for anybody that feels like the government wronged them in any, any way, okay? So, again, I mean, maybe this doesn't apply in California, because uh, they actually uh, can't do affirmative action. <laughs> I was about to say that, uh, you know, Asians should be asking for, uh, you know, checks for affirmative action discrimination and whites too, right? Maybe not in California because they don't, they don't have it there, but maybe uh, in the rest of the country, Asians and whites should have their hands out saying, look, we were discriminated against when it comes to college admissions. Can we get some money, <laughs> right? Can we get some money? I'm just saying. How far is this going to go? Everybody's going to have their hands out. The Latinos are going to find some reason to say that they're owed reparations if this happens. And then you're going to have more division in this country, more people having animosity towards black people, feeling like, oh, you just got that $200,000 because you're black, <laughs> you know, or, or you only got the money, or you only, you know, think that you're better than everybody. You, you know how it go, man. It, it This is nothing but divisiveness and division and, and i honestly really don't think it would help but again it would be interesting if california did this uh to see what would happen because again my bet is that in five six seven years a majority of the people that you gave reparations to are going to have their hands out saying you owe us more <laughs> right you owe us more give us more money this is not enough i guarantee you i guarantee you let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace